What's up guys, it's James back here again with another plugin review. Today we're going to be looking at Security Security. Here at Seacoast we want our WordPress hosting users to know all about the available plugins, the features that they have, what they have for free or what's pro. So stick around to find out more about this security plugin. And as ever, we are just showing the features of this plugin. We can't guarantee any of these security features. There's advertising. We are, however, showing you what features they do have. So security, security, auditing, malware scanner, and security hardening. This apparently does everything from monitoring, malware detection, and security hardening. It's currently at 800,000 plus active installations as of this video being recorded, and it's holding a 4 out of 5 star review. So let's go ahead and see what it's about. For any of you that are looking for a full-on security plugin, check out our latest review on Defender Security. That really did have a huge amount of options available to you. So let's see what Security has. I hope I'm saying that right. Security. Security? I'm assuming it's a play on words on security. Either way, it looks like we have not quite a vast array of different security options. We have our dashboard. We have our firewall. Apparently my mouse decides to die right now. We get a battery. There we go. I've been working again. So our firewall, last logins, and our settings. As ever, let's go through one by one. So we're going to start on audit logs first. It can tell that I've obviously logged into this site. It's telling me the IP and also the username. It's giving me a number of security recommendations on the right hand side. And we've got a number of other options such as iframes, links, and scripts. Let's go take a look. So it looks like none of these have been done. Obviously, we've just installed it, so it's not going to have anything on the logs. We can check the WordPress integrity, which says all core WordPress files are correct. And we can either go straight to our firewall from here or from up here. Let's go over and check it out. Unfortunately, it does look like this isn't part of the free version of the firewall because I'm reading here, and I could be wrong, but more information about the security firewall features and pricing. You need an API key. And if I'm quite honest, it doesn't actually let you know whether it's free, whether it's priced. You've just basically been told to sign up and it takes two minutes or less, which I don't particularly like. I like to know more. There we go. If we go to the C pricing, it looks like it starts at around £9.99 or £19.98 per month for the Pro Firewall. But for the basic, it is paid and it's £10 per month. So, mystery solved. You cannot use the Firewall unless you have the uh, Pro version of it or you're paid for a premium version. I'm going to assume that because of that, we also can't check our Firewall audit logs. We are, however, able to use the IP access, so we can at least block IPs. Um, however, this day and age, I'm not really sure if that's so, you know, does it really benefit you? People can use a VPN. You can literally use a free VPN on a Chrome browser or download other ones that cost you nothing and you can just be a different IP. So essentially nothing really special at the moment. It also has the option to clear cache by particular page or URL path or a clear global cache. Now, I mean, you can sort of do that with a cache plugin, you know, such as I use WP Fast as cache, uh, go to delete cache, delete all cache. So we don't really need that option depending on what you use. Right, with that done, let's go to last logins. Here you're going to find the uh, logins of all users, admins, logged in users, or failed logins. So definitely good if you're trying to, uh, I suppose, keep an eye on who's logging into your site. Then finally, we come down to settings. Here we actually do have a number of different settings. This is going to be the file path for the data storage for security, log exporter, you have a reverse proxy here, and lots of other things that you can tinker around with. Really a lot of them, if you're not really sure or you're a beginner, you shouldn't be messing around with anyway. I suppose it's good to have more in the settings. You can view your scheduled tasks or, you know, rules in your database set by the plugins. Again, not something as a beginner you'd probably really need or do or know what to do with. Other options like ignoring selected files for false positives, files you can ignore into the scans. Let's say for instance one file path might be really hard to scan or it might be stopping it or timing out, potentially could ignore it. Here we do have some better options. Um, it does say website firewall, firewall protection, let's see if we will be able to apply it in a minute. But stuff like uh, blocking PHP and uploads directory, content etc, let's see if any of this actually works. No, you need to purchase that one, so let's try block PHP files and upload directory. Cool, so we do actually have some options here, block PHP files and WP content directory. Nice, so we do have some other options, um, let's see what other ones they do have, block PHP files in WP includes directory, avoid informational leakage, that's uh, good, very good. Uh, disable plugin and theme editor, activate automatic secret key updater. Cool, so it does look like we do have a few options because at first I was a bit worried that we really didn't have many options at all as a security plugin unless we paid. And then include, let's say if we've blocked such that certain or all PHP files in certain directories, you can also allow some. I'm using this section here. Here you're able to update your security keys. You can reset your password, reset installed plugins. There is a big warning saying this procedure can break your website. 
available plugin for theme updates, it's something that you sort of get on WordPress anyway. You can choose alerts for recipients, obviously at the moment it's got my um, email address, trusted IP addresses, subject for the alert, and the alerts you are getting per hour, password guessing brute force attacks. Okay, that's that's good that we have that considered brute force attack after 30 failed logins per hour. We can also change that to more. I don't see why you would. 30 you know, per hour is it's quite a lot. I mean, if somebody can't remember their logins, usually 30 times, that, that's a pretty... Trying to do something bad. And then finishing off with what you're going to receive an alert about. API service communication. Now, again, a lot of these as a beginner will literally mean nothing to you and you should probably not mess around with anything that means nothing to you. And we also finish off with the website info, which gives you a lot of the information about your website, stuff that probably you don't want somebody else to know, you know, like PHP versions and stuff like that. Now, all in all, I'm not sure if I would personally use the security plugin. I think this has definitely got some niche stuff. So if you need certain specific uh, niche security features, this might be one to go for. As a general or beginner user, I'm not so sure. I know lots of other different plugins that, that would give you lots of different things just as standard. I mean, you do have brute force attacks, but then you also aren't allowed to use your firewall unless you pay. There are definitely some really good things on this plugin, but there's also some other things that are sort of useless to you if you don't know what you're doing. Or could potentially break your site if you do the wrong thing. It also, if anything, in my opinion, could do with probably having a bit more, considering most other security plugins have like a ton of features and will cover most security issues this one seems to have a lot more options within the settings but not generally displayed you know within the dashboard or actually going down the the plugin list of what it has so thanks for watching guys you have another two videos popping up now with more plugin reviews from us and to find more of our content popping up on your channel make sure to like and subscribe thanks and we'll see you next time